welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another DIY video. I've been on a roll with the DIY videos lately and this one is so awesome. I love this idea so much. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make little barefoot sandals and I've been wanting to make some of these for such a long time. I just think they are so cute and I think these are perfect for like the beach if you're gonna go out to the beach if you're gonna go spend the day at like a lake or something and you're not gonna be wearing shoes um, I just think they're so cute even just to wear around the house um, and with summer and spring coming up we're gonna be spending a lot more time outdoors and I just think these are amazing for just like vacations or cruises like whatever it is that you want to use these for I am just all about it right now but the first ones that I'm gonna share with you guys are more like simple if you're somebody that doesn't like really like crazy or difficult DIYs. This first pair is probably the one for you because it is a little bit more simple, but they're still super, super cute. So the second pair I'm gonna make for you guys is a little bit more time consuming. Um, there's definitely like lots of little pieces. They're really, really beautiful, but they just take a little bit more time, but it is so worth it because they are so beautiful. Let me know in the comments below what other DIY videos you wanna see from me, if there's anything specific that you want me to recreate or something like that. I don't know what's, been up with me lately but i've just really been into like the crafty diy type stuff lately i don't know so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys later So for the first sandals, you're going to need leather cord and you're also going to need beads. Now with the beads, you want to make sure that you get some that have like a big hole because you want to be able to fit two pieces of cord through one hole. So um, what you want to do is you want to find the center of the leather cord and wrap it around your first middle toe and then you want to tie a knot so you have a nice teardrop shape. So what I decided to do with my sandals is put each end of the leather cord through opposite ends of the bead and then I pulled it tight so it would reach the knot. And I really like the look of this. I just think it looks really sturdy and it just worked out really, really well. So you could obviously do as many beads as you want for this. I decided to do five because these types of beads are not cheap. So um, I did about five beads up the middle, but you could go all the way up to your ankle and I feel like that would be really cute as well. And then after I put all the beads on, I tied a knot right there by the last bead and that is it basically for the top of the shoe. After that I just wrapped the end of the cord around my ankle and I think I wrapped it around like four or five times and then once I had it knotted I wanted to add some beads to the end of the cord because I felt like it would weigh it down a little bit so I just tied one knot into the cord and then I put a bead right on top of that and then I tied another knot so it was kind of like a bead sandwiched between two knots and I did that on the end of the other cord as well and that is basically it for this little sandal. For the next more delicate style sandal, you're going to need gold or silver chain, you're also going to need clasps and jump rings, and then you also want to get some connectors of some sort. I got these really cute mandala ones. I wanted crescent moon ones, but I couldn't find any anywhere. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to wrap the chain around your toe and you want to make a small teardrop shape. Now when you do this, you want to make sure you cut two of everything because you want to make sure that you have the same length of chains for the other shoe because you want you don't want to have to like measure it later on if you know what I mean so just cut two of everything and then you're gonna take a jump ring and you're gonna connect the ends of that small teardrop shape then you want to take your fun little bead or design or I guess connector is what it's called and you want to get a jump ring and you want to connect that to the teardrop shape that you did earlier and you have that cute little shape there which I think is adorable and then you want to take your chain and you want to measure from your connector to your ankle 
and um, you're gonna cut that. Make sure you cut a second one, you don't wanna forget to do that. And then you're gonna take a jump ring and you're gonna connect the chain to your little mandala bead or whatever it is that you find. And that is basically it for the top of the sandal. Then you wanna get your chain again and you want to wrap it around your ankle and measure it to where it's not too tight, but you don't want it to be too loose either, but you definitely want a little bit of give. And you wanna cut that again with your tweezers and then you want to take a jump ring and then take one of your clasps. Make sure you get good clasps, you guys, because bad clasps will break on you like really, really easy. So get good ones that are a little bit more expensive. And you want to jump ring that to the chain that you just cut. Now you wanna take another jump ring. Jump rings are your best friend in this tutorial, guys. I use like a hundred of them. But you want to connect that to the end of the top strap of your sandal. And I actually had to take the clasp off and then cut a little bit of chain off and kind of re-measure it. But that is what it looks like. And you could just leave it like this. I think it's adorable like this. But I wanted to add two more chains because I thought it would be really, really pretty. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your chain and you want to measure from the side of your connector to the back of your heel. And you wanna connect the chains right there to both sides of your mandala piece or bead or connector or whatever it is that you have there. And then for the hardest part of the whole tutorial, you wanna take a jump ring and put it on the back part of your um, ankle strap. And you want to hook those two chains to that jump ring. This was the hardest part because it's just a really odd angle, but once you have it done, it is so freaking pretty. Look at that, I love it so much. Like how much more attractive do my feet look now than they did before? I just think it is so beautiful. So for these final shots, you guys, I had to put the sandals back on and let me tell you, I was so freaking confused. I could not figure out how to get these things back on. So what you wanna do is you wanna lay it out and you wanna put your foot over the top of the first chain and underneath the two second chains and you wanna wrap it up over your ankle. And then you wanna put the toe strap on and then you can wrap the ankle strap around and connect it to the middle strap. I was so confused. I literally thought I wasn't gonna get these things back on, but I finally figured it out. So I hope this clears it up, guys. I thought I should put this in the video to help you guys out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really, really fun to make, and I can't wait to see your guys' photos of what you create. Don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, and also my vlog channel. And I think that's it, guys. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.